Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. In this video, we will show you how you will prepare and engrave an image on clear acrylic. For acrylic, it is really important to run the laser as fast as possible with really low power. We don't want to engrave deep into the material, more like scratching the surface. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe and share with other engravers. Let's go. What we need. First of all, there are two different types of acrylic, cast and extruded. We have to use cast acrylic, since extruded acrylic won't turn white and will melt while engraving. There's no way to achieve good image engravings on extruded material, just to clarify. I have added a list where you can compare them. Just pause the video or take a quick screenshot. Also, we need isopropanol to clean the acrylic after engraving. We need also a microfiber cloth to avoid scratches while cleaning. Let's prepare the images. We open the website called image-r.com. The link is also in the video description below. The page is free and you can prepare images for laser engraving seconds. First, we upload the image we want to engrave. These are the two images which we will prepare for acrylic now. Since we want to engrave the complete image, we don't need to use the crop function. If you want to use a specific area from your image, you can use the crop function. In my case, I will move directly to resize. I will change the width to 170 millimeters. The height calculates automatically in ratio. For DPI, I use 231, since this is the sweet spot for my laser device. Now we can move on with the materials button. I'll choose the CO2 algorithm and matching to my material, acrylic. This will invert and mirror the image, which is absolutely a must-have for clear acrylic images. I will decrease the gamma adjustment on the advanced tools in the left sidebar, since this enhances the details. In this case, you will notice it especially on the nose and her fingers. We only need to save the image as PNG, and we can start engraving. If this ad will show up on your end, just press the escape button, and it will continue the download. Now, I will prepare the second image. The steps are identical, so I will speed it up until we are again at the materials options. You can always check the current size above the image. Again, I will adjust the gamma value for the baby, since I miss details on the hands and the blanket. You will get a feeling for gamma values by preparing a lot of different images. As usual, I will save the image as PNG. Now run your laser software. In my case, I will use RDWorks. Of course, you can use Lightburn or any other software as well. If you use Lightburn, make sure to disable the negative and activate the pass-through option. Let's import the image we prepared before. By double-clicking the image layer on the top right, I can decide my step interval for my DPI value. Since we used 231 DPI for our images, we need a step interval from 0.01 millimeters. For my CO2 laser, which I got from DTC Lasers, which is also linked in the description, I use 500 millimeters per second and 13% power for minimal and maximal. Since I want to cut out the image, I draw a rectangle with the same size as the image. I can give it another color from the bottom pattern, so we can use other settings for the cutting part. Now I will center the rectangle with the center bottom in the top menu. Now it overlays the image perfectly. For cutting, I use 10 millimeters per second and 30% minimal and 35% maximal power. Now let's hit the start button. The only thing I did to the acrylic was removing the foil on the engraving side. On the bottom, you can leave the foil. I have placed small acrylic pieces underneath the acrylic to avoid marks due to the reflections of the honeycomb table. Now I will apply some isopropanol and clean it with a tissue. A finer cloth would be even better, but haven't had one. After cleaning, we can remove the foil on the back. 
You don't have to do any clearing on that side since it was perfectly protected while engraving and cutting. That's a beautiful engraving. It pops even more if you place the acrylic on a dark background to see all details. Now let's engrave the second image. I will use the same settings since these values work perfect for my laser regarding to acrylic. Again, we clean the acrylic with isopropanol and a tissue. Get rid of the backs foil. Sometimes it looks kind of wet since there's still some isopropanol in the engraving. Don't worry, isopropanol vaporizes since it contains pure alcohol. I hope you have learned something and look forward to your acrylic engravings. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe the channel to never miss out any future content. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.